All right, so I want to touch on point number two, uh, navigating buying strength in a shifting real estate landscape. Now, I don't want to beat the dead horse because we've talked about buying strength already as it implies to the interest rate. So actually, now I want to talk about the financial market and how it applies to buying strength, right? It's definitely an inherently dynamic market. It's marked by continuous fluctuations influenced by a lot of different factors. And in this new shifting market, home buyers face this huge challenge of maintaining strong buying strength amidst the changing economic conditions like interest rates, variations, evolving government policies. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the critical component components contributing to a buyer's strength, encompassing their income, their savings, down payments, credit scores, debt levels, interest rates, market conditions, all of these things. Probably the most important one is income. It's a crucial determinant in a buying strength in a stable, reliable income. In a market subject to shifts in employment rates and economic conditions, buyers must assess their stability of their income sources. Sustained career growth, diversified income streams, and adaptability to the changing job markets all contribute to bolstering a person's buying strength. A second thing is the savings and down payment. You know, the amount of savings and the size of the down payment are fundamental factors influencing a person's buying strength. Obviously, if they've got a whole bunch of money in the bank and could put 10, 20, 30, even 50% down, their buying strength is greatly larger than someone who is putting less down. So having a buyer with a robust saving strategy enables them to uh, not only accumulate the funds for the down payment and closing costs and other expected expenses, it also increases their buying power. So in a market that's prone to fluctuations like we're in right now, a substantial down payment can enhance the attractiveness of a buyer's offer and increase the likelihood of securing a good mortgage for them. Credit worthiness and credit score is a paramount in determining a person's buying strength. I always tell people in class, I said, wouldn't it be great if we could put a number on a person's historical uh, ability to use credit? Ta-da, that's what credit score is. So a favorable credit score not only facilitates great mortgages, but it also facilitates easier mortgage approval and could secure lower interest rates. So making sure your buyer is vigilant about their credit management and the timely resolutions of any outstanding issues can contribute to your client having a great credit profile. The good credit profile can empower buyers and optimize their financial position in the market because they have or will have more choices when it comes to getting a mortgage. Now, debt levels run kind of parallel with this, all right? So managing debt levels is crucial for maintaining great buyer strength. You know, that debt to income ratio that a mortgage loan originator or a bank's going to be looking at. Lenders assess this DTI ratio when evaluating the mortgages, making it very imperative for a buyer or a potential buyer to make sure they have minimized all of their outstanding debts. By strategically managing their credit card balance, other loans, other financial obligations, uh, a prospective buyer is going to seem more financially attractive to a lender and thus enhance their overall buying strength. Now, interest rates we've mentioned several different times. So, Prevailing interest rates directly impact the cost of the borrower. However, staying informed about the market trends and other economic indicators is essential for a prospective buyer. Timing the market to secure a mortgage is a favorable concept. 
and it can significantly influence the buyer's strength, mitigating long-term financial burdens and ensuring greater flexibility of their overall mortgage through this interest rate. The market condition and understanding and adapting to the current market is crucial, right? In a buyer's market where housing inventory surpasses demand, buyers may have an increased negotiating power. So understanding the market condition will help a buyer with their uh, strength. Uh, conversely, in a seller's market, it's characterized by limited inventory and high demand. So there is a difference that the buyer would use in their strategic approach in actually making offers. So a buyer's got to align their strategies with the prevailing market conditions. We see that currently, and it happens a lot in the transition between buyers and sellers markets. We're seeing it currently as we speak here at the end of 2023 and the first of 2024, where there are houses for sale on the market, but yet the price still reflects as if it was in that hot seller's market and buyers now are like, oh, I think it's overpriced. Well, we're in that transition right now from that seller's market to the buyer's market. So having the buyer strategies align with the prevailing market is going to increase their buying strategy or their buying strengths rather, sorry. Um, government sponsored programs and incentives can play a pivotal role in bolstering a buyer strength. I know we don't wanna hear that. And there were times several years ago that we literally threw offers out because of uh, buyer's assistance programs. Now, these initiatives may include down payment assistance, favorable loan terms, tax incentives. Do you guys remember way back in 2003, 2003, 2006, somewhere around in there, where there were tax deductions for home buyers? Uh, so those might be coming back. Uh, prospective buyers should proactively explore and leverage these programs. It will greatly enhance their financial position and their buying strength. Uh, broader economic landscape influences the buying strength. Uh, if the economy is stable and there's job growth and inflation rates will impact the financial situation and confidence of a buyer. Buyers should consider other economic factors when assessing their sustainability of their strength. Uh, a buyer's financial goals. Aligning a real estate decision with a person's financial goals is fundamental. Buyers should carefully evaluate what their short-term and long-term financial goals are. Maybe home ownership is not what they need currently, or maybe it is what they need currently. A clear understanding of a person's financial goals enables a buyer to make informed decisions, not only to secure their buying strength, in the present market condition, but also contributes, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> to the overall financial well-being, right? So make sure that when you're navigating all of these issues we just talked about in this shifting real estate market, that prospective buyers must adopt a comprehensive approach and look at everything that will maintain or give them an advantage when it comes to buying strength. They've got to consider all the things like their income, their savings, their credit, their debt, financial goals, governmental uh, programs, successfully navigating, successfully navigating these elements, uh, position a buyer to achieve their financial freedom through home ownership and aspirations to build a solid foundation for their financial future. 